Hello everyone, it is Noah and I'm here at the Christian Book and Music Center here in Victoria, BC. Sometimes I'll pop in here, there's a lot of great stuff to see. So why don't we walk over here and meet Mike, who's the owner of this place. Hello. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Yeah, doing great. Good. So you've been Good. in a few locations now. You've been in Victoria for how yeah. many years? Oh, man. Uh, our store is celebrating 77 years this fall. Wow, that's mm -hmm. crazy. So who's, who started it then? Uh, it? Her name was Frances Davis, and she was a single lady back in 1939. 1939. Uh, the, year the, the year the war started. We, wow. we get told it was the day the war started. Um, so uh, yeah, she was. Uh, she we don't know exactly how long she she kept it out going, but she was downtown, yeah. in right where Bay Center is in that area, on Fort and View, and she moved around a few times. And uh, uh, my parents bought it when I was eleven. Okay. And uh, they were teachers, and they kind of shifted from teaching into retail and ministry, and and so uh, they bought it when it was on Johnson Street, in the kind of the hub of all the comic books places down there now okay yeah so yeah. yeah that's where we were for the mid 70s to the early 80s yeah very cool yeah yeah would so, you want to take us on a little tour yeah, of this place that. and yeah. see what you got yeah cool so why don't we start up front here yeah um we we carry a lot of our best sellers and our new products up front and uh we we divide them into fiction and non-fiction and their best sellers up front there and then one one of the the kind of the neat things that that is starting uh, back in September, there was a big influx of interest into adult coloring books, which is, and I huh. I was quite skeptical at first, yeah. I guess, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I thought, you know, why, um, you know, why we've done coloring books for kids for years, but like adults, really. So uh, we um, started our first coloring book came out in September. It was this one right here, and. Um, and in the six months, seven months following that, another probably 100 coloring books came out for adults. And uh, wow. that just spurred on um, uh, a trend in something what they call Bible illustrating and journaling. So what happened was they, they came out with um, wide margin Bibles with lines that you would start writing in, oh, that okay. you would then color, you draw, and you'd color and it would be all part of your devotional time part of your worship would be to color and and draw in your bible hmm. um for people that aren't so artistic what they've done is they've gone and and done things in a bible where where not every page but every uh you know sixth or seventh page they would put something where you could you could color in where most people can do that um, but there is you know, lots of blank pages where you'd be able to do your own journaling, your own coloring. And then the next thing that happened with that was Bible illustrating. So people that don't have um, the ability to, to draw, um, they can use stickers, stamps, die cuts, tape, and paints and and paint in your bible wow crazy and, yeah so you can paint in your bible now wow who would have known <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to walk down this way so we do uh christian bookstores have really diversified over the years so we you know used to be probably 70 70 percent books now we're 25 percent books and 25 wow. 20 25 percent in gifts so people like to give gifts to people that that will either hang on a wall, sit on something that will remind them of, of the love and the grace of God and different things that will, will reach into their lives and touch them, right? So there's a lot of different products and, and uh, from, the, from this, uh, this rack here being our uh, messianic rack, so menorahs and, and um, prayer shawls and, and uh, shofars and, hmm. and all sorts of uh, renewed interest in the, the feasts and the and the um, just messianic traditions and Jewish yeah, yeah. traditions. So, yeah. yeah, so that's just part of it. But a lot of just great gifts for weddings and and uh, Tons, retirements yeah. and and baptisms, first communions, confirmations. There's so many things going on in the springs, springtime. So um, that's a lot of our concentration is in those those themes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go back here. So we have uh, a big card line of uh, you know 30, 30 feet of cards. Um, cards are a big a big deal in our store. We have we feel 
cards are people love our cards because they have words and and um, meaning to them they they convey a message to people right and so whether it's a loss a uh, card of loss or a card of of uh, a birthday card or anniversary grad anything um, so those are that's a big thing for us um, people love coming to mm -hmm. us for cards So here we are in our fiction corner. So right. uh, fiction is, uh, ever since Frank Peretti and Jeanette Oak um, back in the 80s, fiction has been always a growth area for Christian bookstores. So um, there's uh, uh, so many different genres of fiction now from um, suspense, murder mystery, um, Amish, um, uh, uh, thrillers, um, yeah, so biblical fiction, uh, lots of great uh, authors, lots of great series. Um, people just love to be able to read a, a book and get immersed in it, get lost out of this life and into someone else's. And uh, and a lot of these, but a lot of these books, what makes it different from what you'd see in in um, a regular bookstore is our books generally will all have a. A, some sort of theme or message, way to understand how um, how the Christian life works in reality. Have you yeah. read any good fiction books lately? Anything uh, you can recommend? Yeah, the the biggest ones I've read just recently is uh, these ones right here. So Joel Rosenberg, um, Third Target came out uh, okay. last Christmas. First Tosses just came out this Christmas. They are page turners. They're great for guys, but girls like them too. Um, but but uh, guys love the suspense, the the intrigue, the prophecy um, part, um, mm -hmm. end times. Um, yeah, it's they're they're hard to turn down. But, you yeah, know, totally. Put down at night. Um, and the nice thing about Joel Rosenberg, uh, you know, he's a he's a, a Jewish believer. Um, he's he's an expert on the Middle East. He's an expert on Iran. He knows what's going on there. He's emigrated back to Israel. He lives there now. Has a real pulse on, you know, hand on the pulse of what's going on there. So, um, yeah. So and and his and his, you know, the neat thing about him is that his chapters are really small. So for guys and non-readers, it's great because you can yeah. you can read two or three pages and you're essentially at a new chapter. So yeah. Yeah, I love Joel Rosenberg. I've read yeah. a lot of his stuff. Yeah. This book right here is one of his older ones, the Ezekiel yeah. Option. Like yeah. this is like one of my favorite novels of like yeah. all times. Just so good, thrilling, yeah. really interesting. Yeah, so, so that's a, that him. was a five-part series. This one's a three-part series. This one's a two-part series, and maybe another one coming next Christmas. We'll see where he is. I, I don't know what he's doing for, for next year, but uh, that could easily be another another book coming out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, let's uh, keep moving here. This is something that we've added just uh, in the last six months, and we... Um, we have added uh, secondhand books. We call it the Second Look Book Nook. So this is becoming more than a nook, though. So we have probably 5,000 books here now and wow. and more coming in almost every day in boxes. A lot okay. of don just donations from people who just can't, don't have room for this anymore. Hmm. And but, but there's always a buyer for well, pretty well everything that comes in, right? So, wow. uh, so we have a lot of classics. We have books here that go back to the 1800s. Um, 1900, early 1900s. Um, some of them are signed, uh, you know, by the owner back then, and um, you know things like G. Campbell Morgan and Spurgeon, and um, just amazing, amazing stuff. Wow. So a lot of people love the classics, and and it, they're hard to get a get a hold of right now. So, um, and then we have lots of fiction and just Christian living, uh, lots of Bibles, lots of old translations, and. So it's kind of neat. You can get, you know, a classic for five bucks, huh. and a Bible for six dollars, and wow. and a, an old fiction for three dollars. So um, it's a it's a wonderful way to expand your library totally. and not, not have to pay that's a awesome. lot of money, right? So yeah, save some bucks. Yeah. So that's the that's our second hand area. Bible studies is a is a huge area. Not necessarily in the summer, but. Starting in August again, um, Bible studies is huge for us. Um, uh, we have um, lots of in-depth um, Lifeway Bible studies from people like Beth Moore and James McDonald and um, Kelly Minter and 
um, a lot of those girls that write write in-depth Bible studies, but we also have a lot of DVD Bible studies is okay. kind of the trend to where we're going, is people want to be able to watch something for 10 or 15 minutes, shut it off, just discuss it, talk about yep. some questions um, together, and then put it on again and watch the next little bit. For instance, one of the biggest books we sell right now is Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. Ah, yeah. And um, he just came out with a DVD curriculum for that book and a study guide. And so as soon as it came out, we had three groups doing it within a week. Wow. Um, and so that's that's going to be probably really big this fall, but people, a lot of people just could not wait to get their hands on it. So, um, yeah, so you get him teaching it. You get you get um, Nabil Qureshi teaching it. And, and uh, you, see, you see about 20 minutes times eight sessions okay. of, of his work on that. So, yeah, so lots of great studies. Um, let's move over into the Bibles here. So Bibles still tend to be, you know, one of our biggest uh, selling items in that, in that Bibles are one of the hardest things to buy online. You know, for people, it's really hard to buy a Bible and be happy with it when you've never touched it, seen it, sure, read yeah. it. We do well with Bibles and we love being back here to sell people Bibles. Um, we know, you know, it's the Word of God. We know it's, it's, it's speaking into people's lives. And um, it's just amazing to look back and think, you know, how many Bibles have gone out of this Bible department <laughs> in, in, in 77 yeah. years? You know, hundreds of thousands, wow. you know, really. So... Crazy. Um, it's crazy to think, but right now, of course, it's June, so we're doing a lot of grad gifts and mm -hmm. grad Bibles. So, um, Christian schools, churches, for all the grads, a lot of Bibles, and we engrave their names in the front. Oh, wow. That's um, neat. so that uh, you probably got one when you graduated. That's right, that's yep. right, I did, yeah. So, that was from us, and uh, but lots of great study Bibles, um, uh, you know, st study Bibles that, um, give you when you don't say understand exactly what's going on you can jump down to the bottom and read the read the note on that verse mm -hmm. and um, and see you know what it's talking about um, how it relates to your life the context word studies all that sort of stuff so and the neat thing about these Bibles now they are they are turning out uh, all the new study Bibles are pretty well all uh, full color so like full color maps. So yeah, so all the, the Bibles now, all the new study Bibles, full color maps, full color pictures right in the text, which is a yeah, kind cool. of new phenomenon in the last two or three years, which is, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, kids, kids love to come back here. Kids love Veggie Tales. Kids love Webkins. Kids love Story Bibles, um, Dutch Blitz games. There's so much back here for kids. Um, we have the TV here. We put the TV on for kids every day, and because uh, the moms like to shop and the kids like to watch Veggie Tales. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, so lots of great, uh, uh, great product in the kids area. Um, biggest thing right now is the the Jesus Storybook Bible. One of the most um, amazing Bibles in the sense that it tries to bring. The, the story of Jesus, the life of Jesus, and the relevance of Jesus into the Old Testament. So that's part of the big things about the Jesus Storybook Bible. Trying to get kids to understand that the, the Old Testament is not just a bunch of cool stories, hmm. yeah. but there is reason behind a lot of those stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the neat thing about Jesus Storybook. And a lot of churches now promote it, um, have them for sale in the church. They want their families to read that Bible. Awesome. Yeah. People think, well, music, who buys music anymore? We still, <laughs> sell, we still sell thousands of CDs a year. Um, because, you know, one thing, one reason why people buy CDs is for gifts. Um, people want to give someone a gift of a CD. They want them to listen to this music. It's, it's, it's hard to give them an iTunes gift card and tell them to listen to this music. So, um, so yeah. we sell a lot of CDs still. Um, worship is, is probably our number one genre of, of, of music. So... And in worship, you've got things like Hillsong, Bethel, mm -hmm. um, Passion. Those are our top three. Okay. So, um, uh, for instance, um, uh, um, We Will Not Be Shaken is, is one. probably one of our <laughs> main 
this this has been in our CD player off and on for a year now. And uh, I just saw them live in LA actually. Did you? Oh, it, yeah. oh, it does use a, yeah, yeah, really cool. Yeah. Um, Passion, of course, is part of the Passion group that goes to. Um, they do uh, with with um, Louis Giglio do all the Passion conferences all around, um, and they do their own music, great music. Um, but Bethel is and and Hillsong, no other name. Yeah. Um, amazing stuff. So uh, that's that's really our our number one selling me form of music right now is worship. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and we're back in the cafe. So the cafe. Um, yeah. yeah. This place. You come here get a coffee. Yeah. Or a cappuccino. Get, uh, chai hard, latte. Yeah. To, totally hot or cold drinks. We do fresh cinnamon buns every morning. Um, lemon loaf, banana bread, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we do soup and paninis at lunch now. Wow. So you can come here. We have people coming from the community coming in at lunchtime getting soup and paninis. And and yeah, so that's, that's been really good. Yeah. That is yeah, awesome. It gives people another reason to come in and uh, get them to see what we have. Mm -hmm. It's the big thing. Big time. Right. So you got a lot going on here, hey? Yeah. A lot of stuff to and see. And so we didn't get into the warehouse, but they're uh, they're meeting in Ecclesia right now. They have a prayer meeting going on right there, a oh, worship wow. and prayer yeah. today. In our warehouse, which we, half of it, we sell product in there at 40 to 60% off. But a, th a quarter of warehouse is set aside for something called Ecclesia. And our Ecclesia, we named that and started that in January. Different groups uh, come and meet there and do their meetings, do their prayer, do Bible studies. Um, we have the Christian Writers Guild that meets once a month. Um, we have a Bible study, a men's Bible study Tuesday, Thursday morning. Um, but we're starting to do our own events. Yeah. And so one of our first big events is our cafe night with um, Minstrel Martin and Stell. And there are two art, uh, groups that are have brand new albums okay. and they uh, they're coming on the 17th to Ecclesia and it's just by donation only where our cafe will be open we'll have some desserts that night uh, drinks and uh, people can come and and hear Stell and hmm. and Minstrel Martin so June 17th, so June 17th 2016 7 what time? At night. 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock at night okay. so that'll be our first cafe night with music in our in our Ecclesia that's cool wow. we also have um, uh, David's House of Prayer. So David's House of Prayer meets in Ecclesia about 20 hours a week, all different times of day huh. and night. Early morning, five o'clock, Friday morning, Monday, Wednesday, Friday evenings, um, Tuesday all day. Uh, for every time it's prayer for a different focus. And um, yeah, so it's been great to see the people coming and going in that. Yeah. Amazing stuff going on over there. Um, people just came in the store today, saw what was going on, and went and joined them for prayer this morning. So, huh. yeah, it's 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 really cool. Something is definitely happening in the city. Big time. We're, we're anticipating great things. And you also have another yeah. special person coming in this month, right? Yeah. For a okay. special event. So Tommy Welshell is uh, coming to town on Monday, the 13th of June, and he is going to be at North Doug Pentecostal speaking on he's he's been he's been labeled the kind of the last living link to Azusa the Azusa revival of 1906 um, to 1909 and so he sat at the feet and was brought to Christ and and learned and heard the stories of the people that were in their 80s that had lived through right. and started Azusa revival so he's coming to share his his, his stories and and just to provide some insight into what happened back there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, really what, what again is the date and time he's uh, coming here? He's coming here to the store, he's right? He's coming here to the store on the Tuesday, the 14th. Tuesday We're not the 14th. exactly sure what time. Okay. Um, he's going to be in town all day and he's going to be coming and going a bit, but the for sure, Monday night, the 13th of June at North Douglas Pentecostal. He's going to be there for the whole Church of Victoria to come and hear him and see him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if people want to stay connected and know about events happening at the store, promotions, yeah. what's so the best way? Best way, like us on Facebook. Yeah. Um, get Give us your email address, and then we'll e-blast you all our events as they come up. And uh, check out our website, christianbookandmusic.com. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for giving us a tour of the store, Mike, yeah, and showing us all good. the stuff. Yeah, Yeah, thanks. it's been great to be yeah. here, man. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.